Welcome to a review of Gallic Wars Battle Simulator, a real-time strategy game developed by Mad Gamesmith and published by Gaming Factory SA, available to purchase now for $4.99 American, but is currently on sale for $3.99 until November 6th. Full disclosure, I was provided a code for this review. The story of Gallic Wars is simple. You are charged with the command of the Gallic forces on their way to Rome. Each encounter will bring you closer to your goal and allow you to muster more troops to assist you in your conquests. The gameplay is most comparable to the Total War series with a roguelike twist. In each encounter, you arrange your troops into different battalions organized by color. You then set up a battle plan for each battalion. Once the battle starts, you can execute your plan step by step and by battalion. All the while, the Roman forces are approaching and responding to your presence. Once a battle starts, most things are out of your hands except for executing these plans or using special instant items like fireballs. Similar items are used in the planning phase like traps and barricades to limit enemy movement. From the map screen, you choose your next encounter. Each has a different set of troop rewards and difficulty levels. The interesting mechanic of Gallic Wars is that once you have used troops in a battle, they are no longer available for any other battles in that row of map tiles. Once you have a large enough army and have improved your planning, you can attack several Roman tiles to improve your overall strength once you move to the next section. If a unit falls in battle, however, they are gone for good. This means that your battle plans must be executed in a way to prevent the loss of a lot of troops so you can gather more by doing further battles in that row. If you lose all your troops, you get experience that unlocks generals and can restart a new campaign. Once started, you can select up to four generals that grant different bonuses like improved morale or making your spearmen immune to arrows. This system lets you pick up the next campaign after a failed attempt very quickly, and you can change up your generals each time to suit a new idea for battle. As mentioned previously, the aesthetic represents the top-down system of Total War but in a more cartoonish fashion. I think the cityscapes were my favorite locations because of the planning involved, but the natural terrain also allows for interesting maneuvers to be performed. The music was appropriate and did not distract me from the planning or combat of the game. Similarly, the sound design was good with weapon noise and the grunts of your soldiers being clear as combat unfolds. My first mini gripe is that when you lose a campaign, there's no UI option to return to the menu, just restart campaign. Most people will notice that in the beginning, this game is not easy. It took me about 30 minutes to get past the second row on the map. I think the grind is good for players to experiment with the game mechanics before generals are unlocked. Once they are unlocked, I personally felt a lot better and was able to make it to Rome, but the difficulty curve is noticeable and difficult. My best suggestion for Gallic Wars would be campaign customization. Being able to take control of the difficulty for yourself would open up this game drastically. For example, choosing your starting troops, increasing the general cap, increasing how many Roman troops are present in the beginning, and giving the Roman troops special bonuses as well. I'd love to set up a campaign where I have 100 troops right at the beginning and can wage some epic battles early on. Other than that, I think the game has a good core loop for anyone looking for a quick RTS experience. I hope you enjoyed the video and this look at Gallic Wars Battle Simulator. Make sure to like, subscribe, and buy Gallic Wars on Steam if you liked what you saw. See you next time.